coffee could be making the Panama Canal more resilient in the face of the global climate crisis. Near its shores, coffee farmers have planted scores of trees. It's part of a now 15-year-old incentive program aimed at slowing the accumulated environmental damage, including soil erosion and the contamination of local rivers, that has contributed to the canal's falling water levels. With about 5% of global commerce traveling through the canal, it's one of the world's busiest trade routes, but prolonged drought has crimped that flow. The Panama Canal Authority has so far spent $32 million on the program, which is used to train coffee farmers to adopt more environmentally friendly methods. Experts credit the project with helping slow the damage to the surface water sources crucial to the canal. This is Panama Canal Administrator Ricarte Vasquez. He says without this coffee production, without this care for the hydrological basin, water and resources, the operation of the Panama Canal cannot continue. At the same time, the program also allows farmers to expand and even access higher prices for the beans they produce. Some 1,700 local farmers benefit from the initiative. During the last harvest, more than 10,132-pound bags of Robusta beans were harvested in the Capira area on the canal's western basin. It brings us an income, says this coffee worker. Above all else, it looks after the water.